Hi guys, I'm Jojo Astro Barbie, Queen of Stars, and this is my little baby angel. And we send you lots of love and lots of peace. This week the sun is in the sign of Aquarius, sign of humanity, altruism. Happy birthday to you. We love you. The moon will travel in the signs of Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Aquarius. This week the skies are way more calm, at least until Friday where we will have a new moon in the sign of Aquarius, reminding all of us that our nation, America, was founded on the ideas of liberty, justice for all, and the great movement of solidarity that started in 2016 will continue stronger and stronger. And on Friday also, Venus will make some bad aspects square to Saturn, that is the planet of wisdom, of politics, of world affairs, and somehow it will give us an opportunity to learn more lessons, to grow up wiser, especially dealing with partnerships, relationships, finances, the economy and government and human rights. So a lot of stuff going on. Also late the same day, Friday, Mars planet of war of energy in Pisces and comfortable Pisces, it likes it will move to its own sign Aries, giving a helping hand, bringing confidence, courage, and bravery for the next six weeks to everyone. It will push us, the leaders, and us, everyone, to do the right thing. And I think it's gonna happen. So expect some uprising, some debates in the political world, exciting news to watch. And Saturday, we celebrate the beginning of the fire rooster Chinese year. Wow, this is royalty. It means now that uh, we went to the monkey, the universe just put everybody's life up and down and the rooster is starting to put back some order. It bringing us a time of drama, of course, some adjustments, some necessity to fight back and also progressive action. Strong willed and flamboyant leaders will definitely continue to make the news it will make it even more exciting and the last fire rooster year was in 1957 where the soviet launched the sputnik 2 and cars got bigger and more flashy and more crazy and so this year there's going to be extravaganza in the air next weekend good news there's going to be some things to do with space and mercury so watch next week so, and this week also I will give you the signs of certain people in the new admi administration. I thought you would like that, okay? So let me start now with you Aquarius. Happy birthday to you. I love you guys. I love you Robin. I love you Luba. The new moon in your sign makes you absolutely beautiful, powerful, intuitive, and you move mountains. Some confusion will clear up in career for the next few months you will think positive and you will be invincible and it's important that you look the part because many important people are watching what you're doing in love the truth will set you free on the weekend love finds you where you are so guess who is aquarius in the new administration kalyan conway she's a fire horse your magical color for you, my beautiful Aquarius is Fuchsia, lucky numbers 21 and 33. Pisces, Pisces, the new moon in your spiritual sector makes you very social and also very proud of who you are. The stars bring you hope, popularity, and a resourcefulness. And Mars also gives you some kind of, uh, in your second house, uh, some luck dealing with money and domestic situations. Many of your dreams are becoming a reality and expects more changes that are positive in your projects. It's very important this week to affirm yourself gently with friends, with co-workers and family. On the weekend, you are able to heal past hurts and uh, you, you should listen to the advice of another Pisces and also of Cancers and Scorpio. Your magical color green, lucky numbers 3 and 15. Aries, the powerful new moon in your social sector, bring you inspiration, creativity, and also entrepreneurship. 
The element of timing is very important this week in your career. So make your moves while it is hot. Of course, Mars entering your sign gives you also royalty. You have a crown on your head. Spend quality time with your family, loved ones, and at work express what you want people to do for you. Do things slowly though. Avoid mistakes. And even when you drive, Mars will give you a big boost of energy. Still be cautious. And in love, go with the flow. Everything is happening for the better good. Don't try to control. Don't pull on the flower. Just be yourself and believe in love and love will take care of you. On the weekend, you'll have actually a very nice romantic surprise. Guess who is an Aries? The Secretary of State. Rex Tillerson water dragon and also that's he's gonna he's gonna definitely do a lot of uh he's gonna do a lot of stuff anyways magical color for you my beautiful aries is green and your lucky numbers are 6 and 48. taurus the new moon in your career sector brings some positive changes especially at work the key is to believe in yourself and also to really keep up the good work you're doing good you're moving forward slowly but surely and also you are working to get success and success will be your reward try to understand the hidden meanings of what people say and mean in your love life very important because you have a psychic ability to read people's heart this week gemini cancer and pisces play an important role in your life and on the weekend relax meditate and be spiritual guess who is taurus uh, just like, uh, and a dog also, like uh, the president, well, Trump's wife, Melania, she's a metal dog, and she has a moon in Capricorn, and they are both like Dobermans in the White House. They're a perfect match, made to perfection. Your magical color, my beautiful Taurus, is turquoise, like numbers 11 and 22. Gemini, the new moon in your house of karma, bring you a new awareness of who you are, what you want to accomplish, and how to make your dreams become a reality. An agreement is reached with some co-workers or someone close to you, possibly a mate or a partner. The focus is on cooperation, listening to other people's ideas, expanding your base, and also to take care of your health. Are you in good shape? You have to work out because it's a big year for you especially in career. There could be some delays at work, but it will work in your favor. Just work in a team. On the weekend, do something fun to relax. Taurus, Libra, Cancer, really care. And guess who is also a Gemini? Like Donald Trump, he's, Donald Trump is a Gemini and he's also a fire dog. The other Gemini is the vice president, um, Mike Pence. He's also a nerd pig, Gemini. And also another Gemini, who's uh, the one who's uh, in charge of health and human services, who's also a Gemini Earth Horse, Tom Price. And also the famous Giuliani, he is also a Gemini, a monkey Gemini. Very exciting because Geminis, it's never boring with them. Your magical color is blue, lucky numbers 12 and 13. Cancer, Cancer, you will feel a big shift in the energies this week. The new moon in your shared resources sector gives you a big boost and hope for your future. Health improves greatly. Your creativity also helps you find brilliant solutions to all kinds of challenges for yourself and other people. A good time to strategize and make plans for the next coming year. In love, you feel very close to your mate and your family. On the weekend, a good time to meditate, to get a massage, do yoga, and listen to your soul for guidance. Guess who's cancer? No one in this administration. No Leos, no Cancers, no Virgos. The, the only Virgo that is gonna play some role that I feel very strongly will be Sanders. He's a Virgo and he will be active, but he's not in the administration. He will just face the administration. Your magical color, violet, like in numbers nine and 18. Leo's the new moon in your relationship sector, bring a higher energy and popularity. This is a good time to reflect on your well-being and personal life. Are you happy? What can you do to make your love life more perfect, more exciting? The answer is in your heart and in your mind. So make the changes and ask and you shall receive. And it's very important this week to invest in unconditional love. 
okay? The more you will give without condition, the more you will receive, you know, selflessly. In career, the focus is on integrity and moving forward. Keep your cards close to your chest. By spring, expect extraordinary rewards coming your way. On the weekend, it's very warm and tender. You're going to be a nice, cute little lion and you will be pampered too. And guess who's Leo? No one, no Leo. You remember the famous Leo is, is uh, Bill Clinton, but he will not be part of this. It's, uh, you know, we're moving in the future with a Gemini's, lots of Gemini's and a lot of Taurus and Capricorns. It's very funny. Magical color, gold lucky numbers, eight and 45. Ta-da! Virgo, the new moon in your work sector brings new beginnings. Mars entering your home house slows things down for the better allowing you to recharge your batteries. Try to be patient and understanding. Forgive and forget and all will work just fine. A lover may surprise you with good news or an invitation. You should say yes on the weekend, pamper yourself and take care of your health. Who's a Virgo in the new administration? There was one, it was Christy, but uh, he's gone now. And your magical color, my beautiful Virgos, is mauve and lucky numbers four and 22. Libra, the new moon in your creative sector make you confident and ambitious. Loved ones support you all the way. Mars in your relationship house may bring some positive news at work. You're, you're somehow, no matter what, it's time to believe and have faith. The winds are in your sails, so my God, just push for your projects because something is about to happen. You just might have might have to work a little harder in a different way but i'm telling you your rewards and your success are guaranteed and love by the way supports you greatly so you're very very spoiled and now that we can expect to experience some kind of spiritual awakening and guess who's libra in the new administration well He's not in the new administration, but he played a big role, let's put it this way, in the election. Let's put it this way that he did put Monsieur Trump and the President Trump in the White House. Putin is a Libra. I just thought you would know, you would like to know this. But he's not what you call a real good Libra, he's more of a negative Libra. But it's okay, he's playing his positive role in all that is, and it's always for the better good. And now, here we go, your magical color, pink, lucky numbers, 29 and 45. Scorpios, the new moon in your home sector brings you closer to loved ones and family. It gives you confidence in career and unusual circumstances also may come your way that allow you to realize how magnificent you are. You have a high confidence, you are definitely moving in a new and exciting direction. Expect a few changes here and there, in the plans and what people want you to do even in traveling but all together it's all somehow working out for you you play a key role in many 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 relationships and other people's life people definitely need your advice your support your encouragement so thank you for being there on the weekend it's sweet it's cozy it's time to relax and you recharge your batteries and guess who is scorpio in the new administration, actually the, the very famous Scorpio is the daughter of Trump. She's a, also a rooster, so she's gonna have a good year, okay? Your magical color is turquoise, lucky numbers three and two, 21. And now Sagittarius, the new moon in your communication sector being you unexpected ways to make more money. A good time also to reflect upon what you really want to accomplish in the coming year. It's time to believe in yourself. Saturn is still on your sun until the 19th of December. So use the wisdom of Saturn to guide you in your decisions. You exude a lot of confidence this week, a lot of beauty. And there's something about you, you're smiling like Mona Lisa. Girls and guys, you're like a Mona Lisa and people like that about you. You are definitely doing better with your health. Be proud on the weekend. It's a time to really relax and to pamper yourself. Guess who is Sagittarius? Well, Homeland Security Director John Kelly is a Sagittarius and he's also big in Chinese horoscope. Your magical color, my beautiful Sagittarius, is purple. Lucky numbers, 21 and 48. Capricorn, it's for you. A fabulous week awaits. You're very lucky. The new moon in your financial sector 
bring you extraordinary news, hope for the future. You are a leader. You are very lucky in all your negotiations and you make your projects happen. Be confident. You are in the right place with the right people at the right time. If you follow your heart, the world will be yours. If you follow your greed, it won't. Everything to do with philosophy, knowledge, politics favored. Your mate, your colleagues also support you in everything you do. And family also give you a big boost. Count your blessings, Capricorn. You're doing fabulous. On the weekend, you have peace of mind and you are able to relax. And now, who is the famous Capricorns in this new administration? Well, the two sons, the adult sons, Eric and Donald Jr., they are Capricorns. The little one, Baron, he is a Pisces. I just thought you would know that. And also, Jeff Sesson, the Attorney General, is also a Capricorn. Now, your magical colors, my beautiful Capricorn this week. You have lilac and blues, and your lucky numbers are 17 and 56. And here is the thought of the week for everybody. It's a mellow week until Friday at least, so enjoy it. It's not a happy people who are grateful. It's always grateful people who are happy. Gratitude is the mother of abundance because we keep confirming the positive. Isn't that great? Have a wonderful, wonderful week. And let's keep the solidarity going for the better good of all. Ciao.